Ask me what you want to ask me. Ask me what do you want to ask. We say puchna, right? Puchna. Puch is the root form of the verb here. Yeah? Uh, for the verb to ask in the root format, you know, it's puch, and after that, puch ch, ch, plus anything you can add, right? Uh, suffix you can add, and you can uh, make the different form of the verb, right? So puch is the main root verb. Always keep in mind. And uh, let's make some sentences with this verb. Ram ask a question. This is in the simple present form, uh, present indefinite form. And in this form, if you are making any sentence, then always, as I told you, ta, ti, te comes and he represents here present. All right, he represents present. Ta, ti, te that represents the present uh, simple present form, present indefinite form. All right, so Ram ek prasna puchta hai. Here ek means one. Ram is a name. Prasna means question. All right, the question we say prasna, prasna, prasna. And you can also say saval, right? Prasna uttar. Prasna uttar means question answer. Saval jawab. Saval jawab. We have already discussed this saval jawab and prasna uttar, you know, so I don't want to repeat this. So simply saval or prasna means question. Uttar or jawab means answer. So here prasna puchta hai. One more thing, I just remember. Pooch, you know, pooch. If n sound is coming, pooch, then that means tail over here, you know. I don't have tail. <laughs> Alright. Here's my earphone. Uh, if I was born like uh, like 20 to 30,000 years back, then I might had a pooch here on my back, you know, on my cossacks. Alright. So I just want to say like pooch and the sound is coming. Mm, mm, you know, pooch, 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 pooch. <laughs> Alright. So pooch, pooch means tail, T A I L tail. Alright. I'm not talking about that much. Okay, so here Ram ek prasna puchta hai. Means Ram ask a question. And now in the past it becomes pucha. As I told you in the previous video also, ah, this represent, you know, generally past. Mm, a simple past, you know, the present, uh, pa the past indefinite, you know, so pucha, kaya, gaya, gumaya. Like uh, in the previous video it was giraftar kia, kia, ah, you know, so here pucha, it represents. Uh, past indefinite. In future video, if I'm taking any any other example also, then again the same thing will come. Ah will come, right? For indicating the simple uh, simple past or past in the indefinite. Okay. And here one thing you need to keep in mind when you're making uh, past tense, right? Generally simple past tense, then the noun or the pronoun, whatever you're using, you know, that takes one one small phrase that's called ne, all right? So ne get attached after the noun, all right? After the subject, ram ne, tum ne, aap ne, ham ne, like that, you know? Ram ne ek prasna pucha. Anil ne ek prasna pucha. Anil ne naspati khaya, right? Anil ate um, the peer, right? Anil ne usko propose kiya. <laughs> So Anil ne usko propose kiya. So like propose kiya. Anil ne ne. I just want to say like in the past form when you're making like uh, simple past uh, tense, past uh, indefinite tense, then you have to use ne. All right. Ham ne khaya. Like we ate. Uh, so keep those everything in mind. You know, after watching seven to eight videos in this series, I'm sure you're gonna easily distinguish the tenses in which tense the speaker is talking or in which tense uh, the sentence is written you are reading. Okay. Ram will ask a question. Hmm. Now in future, everything will be same as I had told you in the previous video also that in the future it will be ga, ge, gi. So Ram ek prasna puche ga and there is no uh, ne or na any kind of things that gets added after the after the subject, right? So Ram is subject here and nothing is going to attach here. So Ram ek prasna puche ga. Anil ek prasna puche ga. I will, Anil will ask a question. No? So Anil ek prasna puche ga. Aap ek prasna puchenge. Puchenge, mm, 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 eng, you know, pucheng, pucheng, eng, 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 puchenge. Because I'm giving you respect, I'm talking in up level, alright? So, aap ek prasna puchenge. Kya tum ek prasna puchna chahoge? Do you want to ask a question? You know, kya tum prasna puchna chahoge? Like, like that, you know, like, do you want to ask us? Anyways, we will talk those things, those uh, later. Let me first focus on the topic. Uh, next one is, Ram is asking a question. Now, again, this is, Continuous and continuous always takes raha rahe rahi as I had told you. So here Ram is asking a question. It means Ram ek prasna pooch raha hai and everything is same. Everywhere it will be same, you know. Ram ek prasna pooch raha tha. Now see here the, the, the ne get removed. That was only for the simple past. 
right past indefinite but we are in now past continuous so ram ek prashna puch raha tha puch raha tha right and everything will be again same to make it future uh, i mean to say uh, future continuous tha will get changed into gi format gi format or so ram ek prashna puch raha hoga right ram ek prashna puch raha hoga in the future he he will be asking this question right um tomorrow i think uh, ram will be asking a question at same time about this topic you know so ram will be asking a question tomorrow about the topic in the same class like that you know in the future you are talking about so ram ek prashna puch raha hoga all right he will be asking a question puch raha hoga sita ek prashna puch rahi hogi sita is the name of a girl kal tum ek prashna puch rahe hoge kal means tomorrow all right tum i mean you ek means one prashna question puch rahe hoge to ask you know uh, you, like uh, you will be asking a question so tum kal ek prashna puch rahe hoge now let's go to the perfect form and in the perfect form the present perfect everything will be same and now it will be uh, either you can use chuka or chuke or chuki and if you're not using that chuka chuke chuki you have to take the help of uh, simple past and you need to make it present all right if i'm removing this hai then it becomes a uh, past indefinite of uh, simple past all right ram ne ek prashna pucha all right and if you use here hai then it becomes now present perfect always keep in mind so in simple past if you add hai or hai or he, depending on depending upon the situation you know who is the speaker who is the subject according to that you know if you use a hai format then it converts into the present perfect right so ram ne ek prashna pucha hai ram asked a question ram ne ek prashna pucha and now to turn into the present perfect ram ne ek prashna pucha hai hai showing in present but by the way that was already passed now ram had asked a question everything is same again now that hai just get changed into past format that is tha ram ne ek prashna pucha tha ram had asked me a question आपने मुझे एक प्रश्न पूछा था ना कल राइट right. आपने मुझे कल एक प्रश्न पूछा था ना लाइक यू हैर आस्ट मी अ क्वेश्चन यस्टरडे राइट कल मीन्स यस्टरडे एंड कल मीन्स टुमारो आल्सो मैं कल आऊंगा राइट मैं कल आऊंगा इट मीन्स आई विल कम टुमारो मैं कल आया था सो यू नीड टू डिटरमाइन बाय द वर्ब इफ आई यूजिंग था थी लाइक दैट यू नो थे लाइक दैट इन द सेंटेंस दे नीड रिपीजेंस कल रिपीजेंस दैट टाइम द फैस्ट राइट and if i use my kal aunga ga it means future so it's it's talking about tomorrow ram will have asked a question ram ek prashna puch chuka hoga all right you can as i told you like you can use it chuka this this in the previous video i used to say it and i i put the example over here ram ek prashna puch chuka hoga till this time you know tomorrow ram will have put up a question you know he he will have asked a question so ram ek prashna puch chuka hoga i'm just trying to predict it's a probability right ramul have asked a question so ram ek prashna puch chuka hoga chuka hoga 